Shay O'Connor joins us live from the state capitol with more on what you need to know if you plan to cast your absentee ballot today. Shay. That's right. Good morning to you, Candace and Andrew. Now, those voting absentee have until 5 p.m. to postmark their ballots. Now, that's 5 this evening. Now, the last day for in-person absentee voting was Saturday. Voters can cast absentee ballots for a number of reasons, like if they are or will be away from their county or residence um, of residence on a primary election day, if they are temporarily or permanently disabled in over 65 years of age. That's just to name a few reasons. Now, the polls for the election will open up tomorrow at 7 a.m. And no matter how you plan on voting in the election, there are some rules to keep in mind. Those who voted in the primaries earlier this month are not allowed to vote in the other party's runoff. Now, if you did not vote, you may be able to vote in either runoff. So you will be able to vote in any runoff. And remember to also have your photo ID of president. If you do want to find out more information about absentee of voting, you can visit the Secretary of State's website for now reporting live in Jackson. Shay O'Connor, 12 News.